Hey guys, it's the Cello Guru coming to you from Alameda Point, California. I would like to talk about something really, really cool today. It is anticipation. Um, on the cello, anticipation is really, really important. You have to think ahead a little, set things up for yourself before you have to move. Because when you move, it's too late. You're not going to do it smoothly unless you've gotten set up for it. So one way of anticipation is when you are doing a scale, you're going to do four notes here, then your right, right arm is coming up and your whole body is getting set for this third string, G string position, even before you get to the G string. So you're on the C string, you're doing your fourth note, you move, and then your bow moves over, okay? You get to the fourth finger on the G string, your whole body comes around and your arm comes up, your elbow, before you even get to that string, okay? That happens on all your strings, okay? Um, here's a good example of that. <laughs> I'm going to put my elbow up where these notes can all be hit in advance. So I'm on the bottom string, then my elbow goes up. So my elbow's going to go before the rest of my hand and my wrist on um, everything I play, really. So a C scale. anticipate all the way over to here. Now, let's talk about anticipation in regards to shifting. That's a really important one too. So on my C scale, I've got second finger, fourth finger, and the next note, I have to be thinking in advance, what's the next note? E, right? That's going to be fourth position right down here. How do you get there? That one's a tough one for many of us, okay? Two, four. Now, I want you to think about anticipating into the position that you're going to be in before you even shift. You've got to move this elbow up and move in into the cello a little bit to be in this position even before you get there. How do you do that? Elbow goes first and you shift up and then when you get there you're already in the position that you wanted to be in. Okay, it's pretty cool. Anticipate. And here's a big one coming up. So you want your whole elbow up. You want to be moving into your cello, under your cello. You want everything to be set up before you even get to this position up here. Come around the cello. Then when I get up here, I don't have to do anything. I'm already set up up there, okay? It's super cool. In fact, this concept, when I introduced it to my friend, Louis Go Hopper, who is the most amazing bass player in New York. He's the Lion King bass player. He's the Motown Broadway show bass player. Very, very funky guy. He, he told me that this was really hip, this concept. So that's how I know it's hip. If Luigo thinks it's hip, it's hip. Okay, so now what were the two things? One was anticipate with your right arm when you're doing string crossings, right? One was anticipate with your left hand when you're shifting, like getting into the new position before you actually shift, okay? So let's see. <laughs> elbow and 
up and over before I even get there. Same thing coming down. I'm moving back and under before I even shift. Think about it. Think about it a lot. Think about it when you practice your scales today. I know you're going to go practice scales because we all practice scales, right? You want to get good, right? That's the ticket. Scales and arpeggios, okay? Okay, guys, I will see you next time. And this has been fun. Over and out from the cello guru.